guys and welcome to our festive sausage rolls. Now obviously I need some pastry for festive sausage rolls but for now I'm going to show you what ingredients for the filling we have. So we have 350 grams of sausage meat specifically, we have pepper and salt for taste and we have our festive ingredients here, okay? Let's <laughs> see if I remember them all. We have some dried apricots which I am going to chop up nice and fine. We have whole dried cranberries to chuck in there. We have rosemary to cut up, some flat leaf parsley, and we are going to be using a teaspoon of dried onion, dried garlic, and some ginger. As you can see, or may not be able to see, I have all my ingredients in my bowl. And I'm just going to pop my hand in and give it a really, really good mix up so that all of the ingredients get touched by all of the bits of meat and it's nice and yummy. And then towards the end, I'm going to add, I'm going to bulk it up a little teeny tiny bit with some breadcrumbs. <laughs> But it is, it is, it's smelling absolutely gorgeous right now, guys. It really is. Um, maybe especially if you like the smell of ginger. If you like the festive season and all the smells that go with the festive season, this is a lovely little recipe to have, um, especially for your lunches. Um, have you ever seen some of my videos on the Drama Society that I go to? Um, you know, I, I can't help but to think maybe I should make some and have them for my lunches at Drama. <laughs> Even if it's not Christmas. I think that's going really well. I'm rubbing it on the sides, getting it all of the all of the stuff picked up by the meat on the sides. And I'm pushing and scrunching it together. And kneading it a bit, you know, just to get it all nice and clumped up and yummy. It is good and gorgeous. Ready for some breadcrumbs? Definitely. Come then, Mum. Let's have these breadcrumbs. As you know, this is not an exact science. <laughs> and making any food is not an exact science, okay? So again, I'm going to just break it up a little bit, make sure the breadcrumbs are in the middle and not just stuck to the outside, you know? Because then you get all the range of those yummy flavours inside your sausage roll. <laughs> now, as you can see on the board, I have my sausage roll all nice and mixed, but I also now have a puff pastry ready-made pack of puff pastry, okay? Now, this is the same puff pastry as we used for the puff pastry pizzas, and it is so useful, guys. You just buy it from the shops, you put it in the fridge or the freezer, and as long as you take it out enough time to thaw out a bit, like, let's say, 10 minutes before you start using it, maybe a bit more if it's frozen. What do you think, Mum? Definitely, Definitely more, more when it's frozen. But I've been told that pastry works best when it's cold. Okay, I don't know why, but it, it does, apparently. So um, that's what we're going to use. There is no need to make your own pastry. You can if you want to, but there's no need to make your own, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start rolling out the pastry and making my sausage rolls. So with the help of my mum, because as you know, I'm not entirely accurate, we have cut our pastry right through the middle lengthways. So we've got two great big long sausage roll bits of pastry. And now I'm just gonna put my meat into it and roll it up on the baking tray ready to go into the oven. So as you can see, we've got the meat on the pastry, nice and long, ready for it to be cooked. And now in order to make your pastry stick, you need an egg wash. An egg wash is simply just a couple of eggs um, that have been mixed together uh, and you've got a little pastry brush and now I'm going to try and do this in one fell swoop. So I've pulled the uh, paper that's underneath our um, wrap. Sorry, what am I talking about? Wrap. Um, I've used the paper that kind of holds it together. Hello guys, 
right? So we should fast forward this quite a bit, right? But in so I have put my pastry together. I have used my fingers to um, make sure the edges stick to the egg. Then I've turned them over so that the weight of the mixture itself will um, hold it together and hopefully stop it from splitting when it gets cooked. I have then scored the top so that air can get out when we cook it. And now I'm putting the egg wash on top to give it a really nice kind of crunchy glaze and to kind of keep it all together. So mum, what do you reckon? I think you need a bit more, especially over on the right. Right. On the right one and the right top one here? Both of them. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> as long as I know. I mean, you know, obviously if I'm at home, I would just do this and hope for the best. But since I've got certain support, I might as well use it like my guys. Okay, so this is the finished article and we are about to put it in the oven at 200 and what was it again? 200 degrees. 200 degrees. For a fan oven. For a fan oven. Right. Which okay. is the maximum the fan oven will get. There you go. I've got the oven. You just put Ooh. them in. Alright then. Fabulous. Make sure they're in the middle with my oven gloves on. Always have the oven gloves on if safety. And then we are gonna wait until it cooks. 20 minutes? Yep, yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna do a blind you try and find the uh, tray first. Wearing gloves. There we go. And here they are, all nice and cooked and yummy. Look at that. Yum! And I'm gonna put it onto my um, cooling tray. There we go. See how they do. <laughs> right, okay, so I found my cooling tray and uh, shall I, I'll grab them off and then pop them on what? the cooling tray. Oh, actually, no, don't. We'll let them cool down a little before True. we lift them off. True, because they'll be, they'll be slightly soggy, won't they? Yeah, and you don't want to be using your oven gloves. No. Right, I'm going to leave them there to cool off. Well, guys, it is now fully cooked and it is now cooled down. So much so that I am actually going to cut it and let you have a look at the inside. It is looking lovely. Look at that, lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is definitely good. Mm -mm. 